Titanic Quarter has some proud new tenants, but with the clock ticking, can they pull off a spectacular makeover? We signed the lease on Monday, we got the keys on Wednesday, uh, on Friday the signs got put up, the electricity got connected, uh, the art started going up on the walls and now today we've got a whole load of squatty sofas and bits of furniture that we've been able to beg, borrow and not steal. Uh, we, we, we paid for it honestly, but we've got loads of uh, furniture that's ready to go out around the place and now we're just going to try and transform this place from big empty warehouse into fabulous little cosy cafe. really exciting to see something tangible. Um, we got the signs up yesterday and that's just really satisfying to be able to walk out of the back of the Odyssey there and see the dock. Amazing to see the change, the big Titanic sign and pneumatics all painted now and the scaffolding is down off it now, so it'll be, it's be great to see. Well, I mean, this is amazing, absolutely amazing, just where it is in terms of its position in the dock and everything else. It's wonderful. Chris's boat dream may be dry docked for now. But in addressing the needs of a Northern Ireland that has grown up and wants to move on, the dock has a positive message for the rest of the world. People in the world know Northern Ireland for division, for sectarianism, uh, for being backward looking. And I think that this is a really, really important symbol of what the future holds for us together.